what in the world? I don't need this. I know that. Oh, thank you. Whew. Hey girls, welcome to the vlog. Today we are starting in San Francisco. Welcome to my Airbnb. Um, I'll give you a tour in a sec. But yeah, I just want to give you some background to this video. So basically, I am in San Francisco for a short work trip. I'm actually going to be moving here for a job in the next couple of weeks. And right now, I'm just here for like a quick trip for like an orientation with a new job. And then I'm heading back to New York City for a little bit and then somewhere else for a little bit. And then finally, I'll be in San Francisco for about six ish months so this is actually my first time here i'm very like interested to see what's gonna happen you hear so many things about san francisco like oh like all homeless people this and like all like the crazy expensive rent this and like all these areas that used to be cool or like don't feel safe anymore so We'll see. I'll be the judge. How about that? I will be the judge for myself to see how it's going to go. Um, but so far, so good. Nothing much really happened. Just got from the airport to straight to the Airbnb and kind of like looked around the neighborhood. The neighborhood looks pretty quiet and like safe, but um, it's just barely noon. So we'll see what else is to come for today. The plan for today is sleep maybe because my flight was at like 7 a.m new york time and although i got some sleep on the plane it wasn't like the best sleep possible so probably take a nap and i'm really in the mood for some noodles like some asian like type of noodles like i'm thinking like a, a chunky noodle kind of spicy like with some chili oil like i kind of have it mapped out in my head of what i want but i just gotta find a place to get it so Tomorrow um, is when I actually have my orientation for my new job and get to meet my coworkers. And then Friday, I think Friday is the day I wanna go to the Golden Gate Bridge. And I'm, I'm trying not to like do everything this trip for like these like three days because like I said, I'm gonna move here and live here for months. So it's not like I have to pack everything into this weekend. So I'm like trying to pace myself and not do everything all at once. But also, you know, wanna see some of the sites, have a good time. I don't wanna like say I came here and then didn't see something, you know? Two hours later. Now for the tour of the Airbnb. So when you first walk in, you have your bathroom here. Let's turn this light on. Oh, is that it? Okay, there we go. So yeah, pretty simple, nothing crazy. Just everything you need. And then when you walk out, here's the bed with a little desk situation here. Or here, rather. I was watching some YouTube over there. And in this closet, they have a little, um, little mini fridge situation. And if you need it, there's like a space heater back there. So don't think I'm going to need that because it's like 75 degrees and sunny here. But if I get cold at night, I can um, whip that out. But yeah, pretty simple. It's just, you know, for three days. So it don't have to be nothing crazy. It just works for me. Overall... I think I would rate the Airbnb like mm, out of 10, like a six or seven. That sounds harsh, but I feel like the older I get, the bougier I get. And one thing I didn't realize, I don't, I realize I don't enjoy this, but I don't like staying in basements. I don't know. I think just seeing everything I've seen in New York like puts me off of saying like nearest critters for lack of a better word and you know what I mean and I'm not gonna go into detail because I don't think we need that but you critters you know what I mean um so yeah I didn't realize it was gonna be like on the garage floor I don't love that for me but um it is what it is like I said it's only three days 
San Francisco. Tell me why it's so expensive here. Dumb, stupid, dumb, stupid expensive. It don't, it doesn't, it quite literally does not make any sense to me. Um, and I just need answers. I need somebody to answer me. Cause initially I was like, oh, I'll stay in a hotel, whatever, like it's just three days. It'll probably be fine price wise. Couldn't find anything that was beneath $600. And I'm like, $600 is 400 away from $1,000. I'm staying in the city for three days. And these are not like Hilton, like, Hilton, like what's the other fancy hotels? Like um, the Four Seasons, like these are not these types of hotels. This is like just a decent, hotel in a decent area that's decently clean six hundred dollars for three nights and tax not included so you know what i did i made my my way over to airbnb.com and found something that was more in my price range but it seems clean which is the main thing and it had good reviews so that's all i can ask for i'm just i keep telling myself three days and then you're back in your own bed sis three three days and then you're back in your own bed i'm like a little annoyed with myself right now because yeah sure i was packing under pressure but it's like how do you forget how did i forget my charger for my fast charger like i forgot the charger for my what should we call it like portable charger and i'm just like girl if you run out of juice that's it You brought floss, but you didn't bring your charger. All this, you have a... This? I have this. But I don't have my charger? Ghetto. Very ghetto. nearby so I need to get my book for every place that I go to and then also I might try to get a donut yeah I think I, I think I might try to get a donut tonight. we'll see we'll see what happens got a donut not done because as you can see it's dark outside and I was on my way walking to the donut shop after I got out the bookshop and then I was like Danielle it's like 8, eight about to be 8 30 at night and you have 20 minutes to go and you're in a place you're not familiar with do you need to be walking to the donut shop right now the answer is no so we'll save the donuts for a different day but all in all I would say today was a success y'all remember that fork I had that I was mad that I had let me tell you something. It's coming in handy right now. I'm at the next day. Good morning. We are currently in the race of our lives, trying to get ready. 
um, to make it to my first orientation day at work. And of course, I'm behind schedule. I'm just trying to slap some makeup on right quick. Oof. Let's make this happen. We'll see how well I can actually do my makeup and talk at the same time. But basically, today, um, like I said, it's orientation for my new job. I'm very excited. Um, yeah, I'm just pumped. Like, it's, it just feels surreal to be um, able to start this new position after, like, wanting to transition careers for, like, a year and a half, a little bit more. It feels like two years, so just very, very excited. Um, and first impressions are the lasting impressions, right? So I'm trying to like, not you know, you know, I, I do my makeup. But I'm not trying to do anything too crazy. Just you know, shows my shows that I can do beat, you know, but not anything like outlandish. <laughs> so we'll see what ends up happening. The real determiner will be, well, if, if I even have the time to put on eyeliner, sometimes the eyeliner makes it like 10 times more dramatic than I even intended. So we'll see, but I think the rest of this is gonna be montage because your girl's got work to do. Don't want to feel you, don't want you on my mind, don't want to feel you, don't want you on my mind, don't want to feel you, don't want you on my mind, on my mind, on my mind, 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 mind. It's like lychee bubble tea the area i'm staying in here is like very um it's like the community is like mostly asian so i love to get asian treats and food around here mm. 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 i'm sorry i'm just trying not to choke I am tired. I am tired. It has been an exhausting day. I had to wake up. Well, I saw you when I was getting ready to go to my first day at work or my orientation. I only spent like half half the day there and then I explored for the rest of the day. But it was actually very it just felt so surreal. Like it like and I was just dawned on me like, okay, I'm really gonna be doing this. Like this is really my job. Like I'm moving to San Francisco for six months to work here. And like this is the place I'm gonna be working. It was like it was just kinda crazy, so we just had our little tour, got to meet tons of people who are all seemed like really nice and welcoming, which was amazing. And then we had lunch, got to go to this beautiful rooftop. Um, and I was just like, wow, like this is, this is the city, huh? Like I feel like not that you can only really see a city from the rooftop or like when you're looking at it from like a bird's eye view, but it was just like, like full house and seeing that like, sequence like at the very beginning with the theme song like that's kind of what i like was reminded of like full house is basically my one and only reference to san francisco and what living in san francisco is like what else happened today 
we might later tonight me and my new co-workers might go to this bar where they're having like a dj set because we found out that, that was happening while we were doing our tour and our orientation and all of that if i can i'll take you along but i'm definitely gonna take a nap because i am tired and so are my feet so i'm gonna drink my bubble tea and relax Guess who's going outside and gonna be social? Me. Um, I am going to change though because I don't, these pants are too tight. Um, I gotta, I wanna wear my sneakers, my outside shoes, and I don't wanna wear a bra. So I'm gonna find a more no bra friendly outfit to rock. Okay, I think we're gonna do a tank. Um which is perfect for a brawler situation. Maybe these pants, they feel pretty trendy. Is it dirty? Mm. <laughs> Could be cleaner. Rocking some my sneakers and then my bomber and I'll probably wear my fanny because we also got a gigantic pep talk about, well, not even pep talk, like the, maybe the opposite of a pep talk, like where we were just being told like, you know, just how um, sketch some things can be in the city. And, you know, granted, it's with every city, but I think um, in recent years, from what I've heard from people, their own miles, they've told me that San Francisco and the Bay Area has gotten, like, really, really crazy, like, sketch-wise in the past couple of years. All right. All right, let me get changed, and then I will check back in with you. All right, so this is the fit. A lot more casual for sure. I think I look like, you know, I don't know what that was, but pretty trendy. You know, I feel like people here are like really trendy and like grungy and like hipstery almost, like in a good way though. Um, so yeah, we're headed out and I will try to show you girls what's happening, but if I get caught up, don't be mad, but I will do my best. Okay. I haven't lived in the same state as her in like six years, so... Good morning, girls. So right now, I am writing myself to do something. I don't know, go outside, see the sights, do something. I think I'm out of this. This is like my holy grail. My Sunday rally CEO. Rip. So basically, one of my friends that I went to design school with lives here. <laughs> Um, she lives in, well, not San Francisco proper, but like a little bit outside of the city, maybe like 30 or 40 minutes um, on a good traffic day. So today I am meeting with her. Part of my, I'm just trying to get this product out. All right, decent. I've actually never met her in person. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. We've literally like, been friends for about two years now and have only ever talked to each other in the computer so very excited to meet her in person this is the day um, I got some recommendations um, to this place here called Bob's Donuts so I know they have a couple locations and I'm like should I go get the donut like should the donut technically be my breakfast today because I've literally been trying to get a donut for like three days now, but as long as I've been here. And honestly, before I got here, <laughs> or <laughs> should I just go to the coffee shop and get a little croissant or something like that? And then, I don't know, maybe get the donut after? 
don't know. Decisions, decisions. As you saw, we got pizza last night. Or maybe you didn't see, but we got pizza last night at this um, place called Joyride Pizza. It was actually really good. And the garlic knots were really good. Mind you, I was a little... <laughs> I had like one glass of wine and I was a little tipsy, but I still think in my sober judgment, I would have said that that pizza was good. So... I just want to make sure that when we go to dinner tonight, I don't have any leftovers because they will not be able to get eaten. That is maybe one of the saddest things ever, not eating your good, good leftovers. So that's the plan for today. The plan is really like, I don't know if I have a plan, but I'm going to do something before we meet up and get drinks and dinner. So what that something is, we'll see. All right. So update. I'm outside of the house for the first time at like, it's like 3 p.m. Um, I didn't <laughs> go to the coffee shop or go get the donut. I was literally, I was going to go get the donut though, but I spent a little bit too much time getting ready. And so I have to go meet my friend at the bar we're going to meet at. Um, so I'm walking to the bus right now to go do that. And I will check in with y'all there. Bye. Bye. like a bit of me. That's not right. for three minutes but who cares it's time can you see that the goods have been secured so let's see i got um, a regular glaze <laughs> and then i got my different i should eat this one right now and then, eat. and then i got a chocolate should i eat this one now and then save the glaze for later okay yeah, i'm gonna do that yeah okay. that's a plan um so I went to this place called Bob's Donuts. This was on Baker Street. Nobody was in there because it was getting ready to close, but they did have a lot of different flavors. So let's get that taste off. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. <sighs> That's in the spot. I approve. The next day.
we're ready. 